I think this is flagship exogenous hormone use. What he used specifically, that remains up for debate. However, and I might get some heat for this, but to me, this looks flagship. What's up guys, Derek Moore, PlatesMoreDates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Kumail Nanjiani's body transformation for Eternals and what I think he took specifically to prepare for that role. So the internet's going crazy about this transformation of Kumail over the past year, this Instagram picture he posted. And you know, before even getting into this, I do need to say like congratulations to him on that amazing transformation, regardless if it was enhanced or not. The transformation is insane. Like a ton of hard work goes into it, regardless if you're sauced to the gills on trend balloon or if you're doing it completely naturally. Obviously, the end body composition is going to be less impressive if you're natural, but the work put in is still the same nonetheless. So as far as the look itself relative to what his genetic baseline is, now you can keep in mind, sure, the guy's like a fairly untrained individual prior. You know, you could try and attribute it to newbie gains. You could try and do this. You can try and do that. At the end of the day, this guy is in his 40s and he has already displayed numerous times in every single role he's done in the past that he does not have an impressive physique nor an impressive baseline to work off of guys who would blow up to a physique well i don't even know if you can say blow up but achieve a physique such as this naturally display at least some sort of genetic gift as a baseline as a natural like i think you know most people are going to logically conclude that this was not achieved naturally and the picture itself like the guy is changed his physique so much he didn't even take the time to shave the carpet off his fucking chest or his arms and he's still that vascular looking like anyone who's that confident in how lean they are that doesn't shave the carpet off is very 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 lean to the point where if it doesn't even matter that you have to do that you're confident in how shredded you are that you're going to look nuts on the camera regardless now i don't know how edited this photo is if at all, but like, obviously there's some sharpening, there's some filtering going on here. The guy just worked out, his temperature's probably very high, sweaty, veins come to the surface more. These things are all going to mediate like the most ideal conditions for the perfect shot, the perfect downlighting, he has a pump, blah, blah, blah. So obviously when you look at, you know, images of him working out, it doesn't look as impressive objectively to the average person. But, you know, his physique, nonetheless, if this is unedited, this is 100% indicative of hormone use, in my opinion. Like, nobody in their 40s who has a genetic baseline like he did is going to achieve this kind of a transformation in 12 months, let alone even a couple of years, to be honest. I don't think he could achieve this naturally. All of a sudden, he's... It's not just the vascularity, it's just the body composition in general, the amount of fat he lost and the amount of muscle he gained relative to that over the span of 12 months, you can't attribute that to training and diet. It's You have people that are regressing by the year and losing upwards of two to 3% of their bioavailable free testosterone every year at this age bracket. And here he is completely transforming his body into what is more impressive than 99.9% .9 of the population who goes to the gym on a regular basis within 12 months while still juggling his you know, acting career and whatever else he's doing. While the physique may seem formidable to that of individuals who I've spoken about before who I thought completed their transformations naturally, just relative to this guy's baseline, relative to the time frame, relative to what he's shown to be capable of, of sustaining naturally regardless if he was a trained individual or not just what his genetic body composition baseline has shown us in the past this is definitely in my opinion obviously i could be wrong on this but i think this is flagship exogenous hormone use what he used specifically that remains up for debate however and i might get some heat for this but to me, this looks flagship trend balloon. Now, a lot of people might say, why would somebody risk their, you know, health either using one of the most neurotoxic and just, you know, brutal compounds, especially on what many might presume to be his first cycle ever, if he did cycle. Just the body composition changes. There's no drug that recomps the physique like trend. And this is 
the most impressive recomp I've seen among any celebrity transformation I've seen. Like nobody has gained a significant amount of muscle and lost a significant amount of fat to this degree whereby I feel is more indicative of training use other than perhaps um, Hugh Jackman for Wolverine or something like that. Like they both have a very similar trend look. And if you know what trend look <laughs> really looks like by seeing the guys who are trend out of their mind at local regional shows and whatnot, you'll know what I mean when you see this kind of uh, cap dealt look with a relative lack of development in other body parts with insane vascularity, insane body recomp, just a very androgenic kind of look whereby the protein sparing effect is superior to all other anabolic agents, at least from what we can see in the clinical data, although limited, there really is no better drug at performing in a recomposition context. So what I think he probably took was a testosterone base with a mild dose of trenbolone. And while many people are going to disagree with me on that, I you know don't think you can argue that this physique transformation is achievable naturally for somebody in their 40s who has shown the genetic baseline he did like you just you don't walk around looking the way he did even if you're untrained with the genetic response that he has shown to this training protocol and whatever diet regimen he's undergoing in my opinion with all that being said this isn't to take away from his hard work like i mentioned before even when we look at images of him in his early to mid 30s with what we can presume to be superior endogenous androgen production the physique is not you know doesn't appear to have any sort of genetic superiority such that is represented in his physique transformation nobody who's adhering to a strict diet and training protocol after one year looks the way he does with the baseline that he had like just think about it realistically how many of you guys have gone to the gym and worked out hard for years not just one year but years you know track your macros track this done you know everything to the book and don't look anywhere near this guy's physique after even you know five plus years of strict adherence and this guy after just one year of training hard and dieting goes from what you would consider to be probably a you know very subpar physique to having a top 0.01 percent physique within 12 months like if you just think about that logically there's no way in my opinion this was achieved naturally the compounds in question you know obviously that is a bit more debatable in my opinion but to me the recomp is just flagship trend use and obviously the same transformation could have been achieved with other compounds but i just believe the staggering difference and the blatant recomposition is very indicative of what i've outlined in the past as how trend blown excels over other anabolic agents in a cutting or recomposition context so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think this transformation, just objectively looking at it, do you think in a 12 month span, somebody can go from, you know, looking completely untrained? I don't know what his fitness regimen was prior to this uh, hardcore training phase, but you know, let's just assume he was untrained within a 12 month span. Do you think this level of recomposition is achievable for somebody in their forties completely naturally? You know, I'd be very interested to see if you guys think that it's hundred percent achievable naturally. And if not what you guys think he took, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please like subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post videos like this, check me out on moreplatesmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, BitChute, etc. Anywhere I am, Apple Podcasts. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.